If you go down in the woods today, you're going to find a surprise. It's Lizzie in a bikini getting her honey surprise. Yes, I know that one and one or two ain't no problem that I can see through. As long as it's just me and you, my crazy little bees. honey today so I'm pulling off my honey supers and bringing them home it's just about to rain so I do have to work quickly I have the bee suit oh I have the bee suit handy just in case I need to slip into that but because we've used the bee escape board um, it should be pretty easy and there shouldn't be many or any bees in the honey supers so what I use is a towel, a clean towel obviously, and I wrap, so I set the honey super on the towel and I wrap the other side over the top just to protect it from dirt and grass getting in the honey. And also just so more bees don't come into the honey super while I'm collecting the other boxes. So that's how I do it. Hopefully I can get her done before the rain starts. This will be a great rain day activity, harvesting all my honey. So that honey super was completely empty of bees. I saw one, but I flicked it out. So it's beautiful. It's a very, it's a very heavy honey super. So if you're using deep, boxes for honey supers. I hope you have a strong back because I sure don't. I have two on Crazy Hive and one on Queen June ready to go too. So I'm loading them up in the golf cart and bringing them home. <laughs> on the bee suit because I'm dealing with crazy hive and I kiltered to the whole hive so they're pretty pissed off um, and then I'll strip down again to do the rest all right so I'm done with crazy hive I actually had to pull each frame and sweep them off too because that hive just has so many bees that it's hard to get them all out of the honey supers. My glasses fell off and they're sitting in here. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get back down into my bikini, finish off with Queen June. I might throw a few more skateboards on some other hives that were close to being finished. I bought more equipment today so I have honey supers New honey supers ready for that. But we'll see how the rain holds up. It's starting to spittle now. You can't leave the bee escape boards on too long, just a couple days, because the ants start rolling in and other pests into the honey box because there's no bees. And also the bees help circulate the air and keep it fresh and good. Um, so it can ferment as well and go bad. So you just want to make sure you get to it within two to three days maximum. Still hear quite a few bees in here, so I'm just going to brush them off quick and put them back on. I put this uh, bee escape board on two days later. It's starting to rain now. So, or a day later, I think. So the bees haven't fully fled, so I think three days is a good time frame. This is like the only time I use a bee brush is for... That's a comb, honeycomb. No foundation, I just put in a blank wooden frame. That's exciting. Clean June's always good for that. Just 
just want to give them when you are using the brush, just give them a fast. just went in my mouth. Gross. Okay. So I just wrap that towel up like a little baby and keep the bottom so I normally like hold on to the towel on the side so the bottom stays on and give her or hold the towel. Just gonna pull off the Bia skateboard, put her in front so the bees can get home. Put the inner cover back on. The lid. Now my ratchet strap will fit again. On this one just because my ratchet straps a little broken I think I'm just gonna pack it in bring all my honey home before the rain really comes down and I'll add those honey supers and be a skateboards maybe tomorrow when it's not raining hopefully thanks for tuning in everyone obviously my next episode will be honey extraction <laughs> as you know and then packaging and bottling honey Take care, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe. Did you know I have 98% of my viewers are not subscribed. I was looking at my analytics. So if you're watching this, subscribe already. What are you waiting for? Take care. Bye-bye.